What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Free channel. My name is Tyler Freed and today I'm going to be talking about a subject that got brought up to me in one of the, uh, the comments on one of my videos and uh, that is the question about autonomous trucks. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about uh, what I think about autonomous trucks. Do I think they are going to take over the trucking industry? And uh, I'm going to give it from you know, give my opinion on this subject. Uh, from my perspective, somebody that's been trucking for about three years now, and uh, I'm just gonna give my honest take about uh, whether or not I think uh, autonomous trucks are actually gonna take over the industry. So uh, this is for the guy in the uh, comment section uh, that uh, asked the question whether or not I think these trucks are gonna be taking over the industry. Uh, but before I get to that, uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tyler Freed. This is the Living Freed channel, and welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day, whoever you are watching this video. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned till the end. Because in this video, I kind of want to, you know, take uh, the question, I want to answer it, give my just straight up opinion of whether or not I think. We are going to be losing our jobs as truck drivers and then I want to talk about what to do about it you know because everybody talks about the doom and gloom of losing your your job losing our jobs to robots and everything like that but doesn't necessarily have a solution as to what you can do about it if it does happen so let me answer the question that he asked, you know, uh, what do you think about autonomous trucks? Do you think they're going to take over the industry? And short answer, absolutely not. No, I do not. Unless, unless the infrastructure in this country changes, right? The only way I honestly believe that autonomous trucks will actually be a real thing in a large scale will be if they have dedicated highway systems or lanes for these trucks to operate. In other words, these trucks are going to need to operate in a controlled environment. They cannot be out on the road with other vehicles that are not autonomous. Because a lot of people have a misunderstanding, and I was one of those people before I got into the trucking industry. I was one of those people that thought, you know what, autonomous trucks are going to be here in five to ten years. And this was this was one of my concerns when I was getting into the industry uh, because I didn't really know everything that this job entailed on a daily basis. I didn't really realize how much there was you need to know as a truck driver before I got in, right? So before I got into trucking, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna get into this industry. I'm gonna make good money. I'm gonna invest money outside of the industry and you know, get out before these robots take over because I'm not somebody who thinks that technology is not a thing, that, you know, technology is, you know, is stupid or, you know, I don't want it to happen. Like, if it happens, it happens. It's a free market economy. I truly believe that, hey, if these engineers can create technology that, that uh, makes an industry more efficient, then they do, right? But to be really honest, ever since I got into trucking and I actually did it, I have come to the realization that these trucks, there is absolutely no way, no way that these trucks will take over this industry. And I say at all, not just, not just in five years, 10 years, I say at all, unless the infrastructure is changed for these vehicles, then it could happen. If you start seeing autonomous highway systems and and lanes and things like that, then they're probably gonna come, you know? But you would have to change the infrastructure of this country, and that is my honest opinion. If you disagree with me, hey, please leave a comment in the comment section below, but this is my opinion. This is my opinion. Do I think that the technology exists to where you can put it on autopilot right now and the truck drive itself going down a straight highway? Absolutely, it already exists. You know, it already exists. However, that's not what truck driving is. We do a lot of things that people really don't understand when it comes to this job. We uh, we have to drive in inclement weather, 
rain, sleet, snow, high winds, right? We have to do pre-trip and post-trip inspections every day on the vehicle. We have to, you know, slide our tandem, slide our wheels uh, backwards and forward to distribute the weight evenly so that we're not overweight on one axle or whatever. Um, we have to do, we have to open doors, you know, if I, like I haul the easiest type of freight to haul. I haul drive-in freight, right? And I, I would say drive-in and re refrigerated freight are really the easiest in terms of the amount of work you have to do in the back of the trailer. But that's where I'm going with this. Even doing that, even the easiest freight to haul, you know, I have to be very skilled to back up this truck. Most shippers and most receivers are not straight off the interstate. Most of them. There's a lot of them that are, but most of them, you have to go through some back roads or into some tight, you know, major cities that are highly congested. And there's absolutely no way when you're in a major city like Atlanta or Dallas or Chicago or New York or, you know, uh, Philadelphia, any of these major cities, there's absolutely no way these trucks are going to be more efficient than a human driver. And that is because this technology doesn't have that human intuition. It doesn't have that. We are able to think about things ahead of time that a computer is not going to be able to pick up. They're not going to be able to think about that, right? Another thing too, like now the company I'm with, I don't really haul out west a lot. So I don't have to chain my tires, you know, when it's snowing outside, right? I don't have to do that. Now, if I was running out west, I would have to chain them my tires. And who's going to do that? Who's going to get out and chain the tires when one of these autonomous trucks hits a blizzard? Who's going to do that? So somebody's going to have to be in the truck to back it up, to slide tandems, to secure the load, right? Because if you're doing, like I said, I'm in dry van. When you're in dry van and reefer, I mean, you still have to secure the loads in dry van and reefer for a lot of freight. Who's going to do that? Who's going to secure the flat, especially flatbed? There's absolutely no way in flatbed you can automate that whole job. That's that's like one of the hardest jobs to do in trucking. Who's going to get out and tarp and strap and secure those loads? Who's going to do that? You know, that's my question. And who's going to drive these trucks when it hits that major metropolitan area? Who's going to take that truck and drive it into where it needs to go? See, you would have to change the entire logistics system of the trucking industry. The whole supply chain system would have to change to make these trucks work. You still would have human interaction no matter what. Even if you can click a button and it's, it's driving by itself while you're in the seat, okay, but once you have to get off the highway and find what the shipper or the receiver, a human has to take over. There's no way, if a road is closed, right? If a road is closed, what does the truck do? It's just gonna stop. It's not gonna really know where to go. It's not gonna stop and say, okay, I need to get on Google Maps and and figure out a new way to get into this uh, the shipper or receiver, right? You know, that's the thing about this technology is, yes, like some of it's there, but it's not all the way there to just take over and totally, you know, change this industry. Right? I've been hearing about autonomous trucks for like five years. Like I thought about getting into trucking five years ago. I waited a couple years and I've been doing it now for three. And I, I was hearing the exact same thing. Like, hey, these autonomous trucks are gonna be here in uh, by 2021. Well, it's 2021 and the same progress has been made, right? There's a lot of hype surrounding it. And I, I see why, you know, these major trucking companies want autonomous trucks because in theory it would save them a lot of money and it would be more efficient in theory but in practical everyday use in the real world of trucking there's absolutely no way absolutely no way in my lifetime and I'm only 27 years old I am absolutely not worried if you are thinking about getting into this industry and you're worried about these trucks coming in and taking over you have nothing to worry about you have absolutely nothing to worry about unless they change the infrastructure completely in this country and build these systems for them. Then it may change a little bit. Then it may change. But that's going to be a long way away. Who's going to pay for that? Who's going to pay for that? 
oh, we have a new infrastructure deal coming through, you know, Congress and everything. Most of that money, that's not that's not going to go towards infrastructure like you think it is, right? They're going to waste all that money. They're spending it on on their uh, their stupid programs that they always spend it on. That's what politicians do, right? They're not going to really spend it on infrastructure. They just name it that to make you think that they're doing something right, but they're not really doing that. So the point is, is if you're new, thinking about getting into trucking, you should still get into trucking. This is a great business. There's way too much work to do uh, in this job that has nothing to do with just driving down the highway. Okay, like when you're driving in mountains, you know, you have to be able to judge curves, you know, downgrades, upgrades, you know, like who's going to, who, you can't automate that, right? Trucking is one of the last industries really that you're going to automate, you know, I, I've seen automated um, forklifts, I've seen automated pallet movers, and they're really pathetic, really. Honestly, a human operating a forklift still is better than that, right? And if they can't automate that efficiently, a forklift in a controlled environment in a warehouse and make that more efficient than a human being, then what makes you think they're gonna make a tractor trailer more efficient than a human being right now, right? So that's my belief. You know, short, short and simple, I do not think they are gonna take over the industry. That's my opinion. Some people totally disagree with me. Um, but we're a long way away from that, and that's where I stand. Infrastructure has to change in order to make it happen. Okay? And like I said, to sum it up, there's too many, there's too many things we do that has nothing to do with driving a truck uh, that you cannot automate. Somebody, a human being, is going to have to do that job. So... It isn't gonna happen in my lifetime. And I'm 27 years old, like I said. If you're 21 looking at getting into the industry, you have nothing to worry about at all in your lifetime. And uh, I firmly believe that. So now, let's say they do change the infrastructure in this country to suit these autonomous trucks. Let's say they do do that. Well, we're a long way away. If they do do that, then we are a long way away from that. So if you were to get into the industry right now, and let's say you just got into the industry, and you have, say, 10 years before it takes over, well, what can you do? Well, you can learn or take advantage of the money that you're gonna be making as a driver. Uh, you know, in your first year, you can definitely, if you pick the right company, and and you really focus and you really work hard, you can definitely make sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars your first year. Right out the gate. People do it. I'm not saying everybody's gonna do that, but you can do that. And then after you get about a year's worth of experience, two years worth of experience, you can get up to the ninety, hundred thousand dollar range, even more than that, even as a company driver, you do not even have to buy a truck to do that. However, if you're gonna do it as a company driver, you will have to work hard. You will have to stay out. You will have to run. You will have to specialize in something in order to make that kind of money, right? Well, what can you do? Let's say, you know, you make, you know, $80,000 a year. Well, if you have 10 years to get out of the industry before the robots take over, what if you invested 30, 40% of your income, right? And I don't have a calculator with me right now, but if you invested, you know, say $30,000 a year for 10 years, right? 30,000 times 10 is $300,000 in 10 years, just saved. If you take that money and you invest it, and let's say you earn about 10% a year, right? You can probably double that money, probably 2X your money in that amount of time. You can get close to 2Xing your money in 10 years if you average, you know, what the market, the S&P 500, has averaged through the course of its, its existence, which is about a 10% annualized rate of return. Um, in about 10 years, you will almost have doubled your money twice if you invested this money. So if you invested $300,000 over the course of 10 years, let's say, you know, it's worth 
800,000, you know, to a million dollars in 10 years. Well, if autonomous trucks come and you didn't invest your money, you didn't save your money, you didn't get out of debt, pay off your house, you know, start a business, whatever, and you just blew all this money you were making, then it's going to really screw you if these trucks come. But if you're smart with your money right now, over the next 10, 15, 20 years, however long they say it's going to take, think about it. You could be a multimillionaire if you really are smart with your money, and it won't matter whether or not you lose your job due to robots. You know? So, long story short, could they come? It's possible. Anything's possible. I'm not saying that it's impossible for autonomous trucks to take over. Nothing is impossible. In order for that to happen, like I said, they are going to have to change the infrastructure in this country to make it happen. But what do you do if it does? Or what do you do if it is coming? I think you should do this anyway, personally. And I talk about this a lot on my channel. You should check out the other videos that I have posted already about personal finance, investing, saving, things like that. And how to utilize, you know, or how to make the most out of your time out here as a truck driver. Because I think that's a problem for not just truck drivers, but people in general, they're not smart with their money. No matter how much money they make, they blow it all. So if you are in this industry right now, I don't think you have anything to worry about. And if you are worried about it, then you should get your financial situation in order and prepare for what you think is coming. And then if it comes in 10 years, say you did invest 30,000 a year, 40,000 a year, right? Just do the math, you know? Go online, look up a retirement calculator, put in, you know, $400,000 invested over the course of 10 years in a 10% annualized rate of return, and you will get a certain amount of money and it would be better to have that than nothing and just do nothing and say oh man these trucks are about to take over you know we're doomed I'm gonna lose my job well what if you had a million bucks sitting in your retirement account it wouldn't be that bad you'd be able to change jobs you'd be able to change careers and transition if it does come so that's what to do about it that's what to do about it however like I said there's nothing to worry about there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm not worried about it. I'm 27. I don't plan on driving in a truck for, you know, 20 more years. Um, but if I wanted to, I could. Because I'm definitely not worried about these trucks taking over. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this video for uh, the guy in the comment section. This video is for you. And if you're thinking about getting into trucking, don't worry. Um, but I got uh, a guy dropping a load right now that I will be taking and uh, got to swap trailers with him. And, uh, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, God bless. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and have a great day. Peace out.